Hey everybody and welcome to the Sauce and Gravy channel. This is Johnny Mac. Get ready for a quick and easy French style sauce. It's a Hollandaise sauce or a Dutch sauce derivative. I'm going to show you step by step how to make an Adjir sauce. Let's do it. I'm sure this is no surprise to you, but because this is French cuisine or a French style sauce, there's butter involved. And not just a wee little bit, a lot. 10 tablespoons or 140 grams. Don't be scared of the deliciousness. Melt that butter down. In the end, this will make about one cup or 250 milliliters, perfect for a family size brunch. While that butter is so ever gently melting down, your next step is to crack three eggs and separate the yolks. If you're looking for a quick breakfast, lunch, or brunch type sauce, this is a perfect sauce. It's so quick, it's easy, you can do it in under five minutes. With the addition of mustard to this Hollandaise sauce derivative, it's exceptional on fried foods like pork, goes great on salmon, poached eggs, put it on sauteed spinach, broccoli, asparagus, you name it. Once you've separated those egg yolks, it's a good idea to check the temperature of the melted butter. You don't want it too hot, you don't want a scrambled egg sauce, of course, and you don't want it too cold because you want it to help cook those egg yolks. You want that temp to be between 130 to 140 Fahrenheit or 54 to 60 Celsius. All right, enough of that chit chat. Let's make the sauce. Half of a tablespoon of water, seven milliliters into the blender it goes. To this, you'll add an eighth of a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. The next ingredient is the first step in making this a Dutch sauce derivative. One teaspoon ground mustard. Drop in a fourth of a teaspoon of salt. And by the way, while I'm thinking about it, the butter is not salted. Next ingredient up to bat, half of a lemon. That's about one tablespoon or 15 milliliters. If you've never used a blender to make a homemade hollandaise style sauce, you've gotta give it a shot. It tastes so much better than those store-bought packets. You don't even know what's in those store-bought packets. And this is such an easy sauce making technique. Before you start blending, check the temperature of that melted butter. Make sure it's right where you want it to be. Throw the lid on, keep the hole in the center open, put a little tea towel on top just to make sure it doesn't splash out whenever you crank it up. At this point in the sauce making process, your goal is to turn the liquid into a pale yellow. This takes about 15 to 30 seconds, so don't go anywhere. Next, you'll snag that warm melted butter and slowly drizzle it in. And now would be a perfect time to smash that subscribe button. It's free and you'll have access to a wide variety of sauce making tips and techniques. So I bet you're wondering, how long should I blend this for? Well, from start to finish, once I started drizzling in that butter to whenever I turned off the blender, total of 20 seconds. Now that's fast. Nice work, you're doing an excellent job. Hang in there, there's just a few more things to do for the sauce making process and then you'll be able to dive in. First, you'll wanna check the consistency. You'll want it to be a little bit runny, not too thick. If it looks like this, you're good to go. If it's too thick, you can always add a little lemon juice or some water to thin it out. If it's too thin, blend it more. But this looks good, let's give it a taste. How does it taste? Pretty darn good, but oh, we're not quite done yet. Pour the sauce into a container, preferably a mixing bowl or a glass bowl. So remember you added that ground mustard before to kind of transform this into an Adjir sauce, but to really give it that extra kick, yellow mustard, one tablespoon, 15 grams, pour it in. Trust me, you'll thank me later. Give it a quick stir and then enjoy. And if for some reason you have any of this left over, cover it, put it in the fridge. You can use it as a buttery type spread for sandwiches or a compound butter. So that, Sauce and Gravy Nation, is how you make an Adjir sauce. I hope that you found this recipe helpful. If you did, smash that like button. And remember, it's just you, me, and the sauces. Keep whisking, y'all.